Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you for joining Machine Masters today. My name is MG The Future. Today, I'll be talking to you about polyrhythms and using ethnic percussion in your production. Um, this particular tutorial is inspired by the fact that the Black Panther movie is coming out this week, and a lot of talk has been about the soundtrack itself. And actually, probably a few months back, the actual person who scored the Black Panther soundtrack, um, he was talking about going to Africa and studying all the different polyrhythms in person and then introducing that to the soundtrack and letting that be the basis for the movie and then of course Kendrick Lamar and TDE made a more modern contemporary soundtrack so I'll be jumping between concepts that you can find in both but it's actually really simple in terms of my particular approach I just want to share that with you guys so let's check out one of the tracks there's Kendrick Lamar and The Weeknd I have it sped up in YouTube so hopefully we can share that and then this part. So the rhythm's really simple. Bottom layer, the hip hop part, right? It's boom, pum pop, boom, pum pop, boom, pum pop. It's almost like a heartbeat. Without rhythm, there's no motion. Without motion, there is no rhythm. So the rhythm of the human <laughs> is always catchy, um, especially if you start using BPMs that are near heart rates or target heart rate. So for this particular demonstration, I wanna start with something easy, and that's going to be the chords. Um, there's four chords, maybe more, because it sounds like one, one of the down chords change. So I'm opening up Scalar real quick, and I will use it for one thing in particular, and that's to catch a vibe, to find out what these scales mean. Um, I think we're going to be in minor, but I'm looking for something that says epic. So harmonic minor is epic tragic, right? And if we think about the Black Panther and the theme of that movie, all the cool kids are using C sharp harmonic minor. The only problem that I have is trying to find a different scale altogether that also overlaps this. Let's see if the major scale has some of these chords. Let's see, let's, let's see, see, let's see. Harmonic minor. minor. Let's take the one and the four and the five out. And let's see if any of the regular minor scales have an overlap. I believe it'll be C. It doesn't have the five. So I'm not gonna use the five chord. And I'll explain what I mean in a minute because what I'm gonna use is captain chords instead. So the reason why I can't use harmonic minor here is because the captain chords update didn't come out yet that supports it, but I can use minor. I'm just gonna stay away from the five, which was a chord outside of harmonic minor. And now what I have to do is find a progression that doesn't have five in it. That sounds like some Rocky Balboa, right? So there's a few things I can do with this. I just want the generic chords laid out for me because I'm not gonna go too hard on instrumentation. I just need something to support the rhythm, right? So I'm gonna use Silenth. I'm gonna get a pad from Silenth. They're using an EP and a pad, but we only need one of them just to get this party started. Perfect. Now. What I wanna do is put this into song mode, put this here. For the polyrhythms to work on top of our type of music, the hip hop and trap stuff, make sure you have a solid foundation first. So I'm gonna create a pattern called foundation. And this is gonna be that basic rhythm that we heard the boom, 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 boom. And in fact, I don't need to make long patterns for that. They could just be one bar loops because it's really, that's all that is. So I'm gonna do it like this, bong, bong, bong. I'm working on my Neptune kit. Uh, I'll use something crazy like that. And I'm actually not gonna make it double time. I'll make it like 120, like a pop song or maybe a hundred, like the DJ Mustard stuff. Cause it's kind of fast around that staying alive tempo. So I believe our progression was C sharp minor, right? And that's gonna come into play because if we use electronic percussion or if you have VSCs like Nexus, Omnisphere, um, East West Sounds, Cloud Subscription, the Rolling Cloud Subscription, or you're getting loops from Machine Masters and stuff and it gives you the key information for percussion, you would want to change it to the key of your chords and your music, if you can, if you have the technology to do that or if you could detect it by ear. Me, because I'm moving so fast most of the time, I forget what key it is. Like I don't hear the key of music kind of thing. I always make markers here like a C sharp minor. So if I pull up Serato and I have a sample, C sharp minor, et cetera, et cetera. I try to keep everything in pocket. So now what I'll do is go to Edison and I'm going to Edison because <laughs> I got a loop from somewhere. That's actually not a loop. It's a documentary about African percussion. I couldn't go to Africa and learn how to do this, but I can go on the internet and do this, right? So we're just using the resources we have available to us given our circumstances. And what was beautiful about this particular documentary <laughs> they have to, well, first they have this big old pop-up on the video. This is copyrighted. So we got to be careful with stuff like that and honor that. But for learning and demonstration purposes, I just want to show you what it sounds like in case this is new to you. So there's a lot of parts to this. I'll take it out of song mode, go to a new pattern. I'm gonna call it Africa, respect to the motherland kind of thing. Okay. 
I'm not sure if it's Hindi, but it feels like it. But that makes sense because, you know, old Atlantis, you know, old Africa was both continents. Feel me? Well, anyway, let's take, <laughs> I could be here all day <laughs> trying to pick pieces. So I'm just going to be like, yo, we're taking a piece. So I'm taking a piece, right? First things first. I want the atmosphere because I need this to be live, right? So I'm gonna take a piece of this, and this is very similar to the lo-fi wave using ambient sounds like that. And of course I got this out of a documentary, so stay woke. I'm gonna go back to song mode, hear how that sounds. So I call something like that ambient. Fruity Loops has this cool thing where it automatically goes back and forth. I think it's called swap stereo. It's either swap stereo or fade stereo. Now the polyrhythms are low key and I want to be a little bit more delicate with those and I want to try to change the key of them. So let's find where those elders were singing. The hardest thing is going to be finding the downbeat because those ain't the right, <laughs> those aren't your average rhythms. Bong, so it's around here somewhere. So because I need this to be saved as its own individual thing, I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to do save as within Edison. Um, so save as call Africa elders. And then what I can do is go back to the top of my project. I'm going to open up Serato sample. You don't have to, um, you could just drag and drop it like I did with the ambience, but I want to see if I can key match it to C sharp. If there's, if her voice or their voice is in a minor type thing, if not, I'll let it go. <laughs> it's already in C sharp minor. <laughs> so there goes that idea. So I'm gonna go to the pattern where my drums are and see if I can just flow with that. Let's cancel that. Let's go to foundation layer. Let's see if it's here. Um, That pattern needs to be extended. Cool, so I'm loop it up. Let's see. Cool, we got something. A Serato sample doesn't keep your samples contain, meaning like I've noticed when I was moving things on external hard drives, um, when I come back to FL Studio or Reason later and try to reload a project that has Serato, it's like, where's your sample? Because of that, now I'm taking into account that I can just right click these and convert them to audio, especially bounce in place or that kind of feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Do it. It's called Quick Render in FL. You just right click, it'll create an audio file from your pattern and then you drag the audio file in. It'll be called whatever your pattern's called. So now I got that loop there. Now we can start sending some of this stuff to the mixer and I want to side chain my kick to everything, right? And then from peak controller, we'll go ahead and wrap all the percussion around the kick. So the kick is going to duck all these elements and I need to send my ambience there as well. So let's do that real quick. The pad is going to get routed as well. And then the ambience was an audio clip. So I'm going to switch it to audio real quick and we'll bust it here and go ahead and side chain that with the kick as well. Now on her voice or in their voice, we can probably do any kind of filtering you want. I'm gonna try halftime and see what that sounds like pitch down lower. Very cool. And I, you could take that further or you can like kind of start filtering things real simply. And we could put it way back in the back of the, the space of this particular mix, just using a reverb. Um, I'm probably going to use the plate, the free plate reverb from um, Sound Toys. Cool, so we have that. So that's the part where Weekend would be. And then of course, the part where Kendrick's rapping is a little bit different. So I'm gonna take the ambience off the hook, go into a regular section with the ambience. And then on this part, we can do something real simple. We can just add an 808 to be that bass layer. And we'll make sure this bass is on with the kick. And then to stop that, we're gonna have it cut itself. And then also we're gonna probably use portamento and stuff. So let's first change our scale to C sharp minor. Boom, there goes our notes. Let's go up an octave to see if they sound better there. They don't, let's drop them back down. Let's move them into key. Cool, and I wanna try to follow that voice a little bit. Cool, so I can move that pattern to the end and just have it regular for the beginning.
cool. I vibe with that. It's real simple, real laid back. And then to modernize it a little bit further, we're going to add one more layer and that's going to be hi-hats. And it's only going to happen here where the wrapper would be, right? So let's do it like that. Let's put the hi-hat layer there. Let's call in some hi-hats. Cool. And then what I can do is vary them. This is new to the beta three as well. Kind of give it that cardiac boy wonder feel a little bit. Something like that. There we go. And then give this through the whole duration. Bong bong. Something like this. I'll take the bass out here and let it run. And then you'll extend this and make more to it. Cool. And now I know what to do here. If we imagine this was an extension, I'm going to drop everything that would be here, like the polyrhythms, and then duplicate it like this. So when it comes in, it's gradual. Yeah, something like this. Real simple. And then from there, you can fill it out. You can add more keys, more layers, use Captain Bass with Captain Chords to create the bass lines and add like the drone subs and stuff like that and really produce it. But once you have your foundation based on what they're doing with the Black Panther soundtrack, it's really easy to see the rest. Like I can hear where all the emptiness is. It's like, okay, there's needs to be a different sound there and put a different bass line on the hook, et cetera, et cetera. Your mind will just go way further and deeper once you have the foundation. And in this case, the foundation for that movie and the foundation for a lot of these tracks are those African polyrhythms. And hopefully me giving you some insight on how I would go about it would inspire you to do the same. But anyway, my name is MG The Future. I thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching this on the Machine Masters. Definitely follow us on social media. I'm at MG The Future. Be sure to follow at Machine Masters as well. Until next time, peace.